To wrap your head around this wild idea, we have to go back to the 1980s, to a series of experiments that would change neuroscience forever. A neuroscientist named Benjamin Libet designed a deceptively simple study. He invited people into his lab, hooked them up to EEG sensors to measure brain activity, and gave them one simple instruction. Flex your wrist whenever you feel the urge. Their only other job was to watch a special clock and report the exact moment they first felt that conscious intention, the urge to move. Liebet was timing three things, the brain's prep work, the person's awareness of their decision, and the action itself. The results were earth shattering. Liebet discovered a brain signal he named the readiness potential, a buildup of neural activity that always appeared right before a voluntary movement. But here's the kicker. This brain activity started about 550 milliseconds before the wrist actually moved. The participants? They only reported feeling the intention to move about 200 milliseconds before the action. Let that sink in. A full 350 milliseconds before people felt they had made a decision, their brains were already gearing up. Their brains were ahead of their minds. This suggested the conscious feeling of deciding wasn't the cause, but maybe just an afterthought. A notification from headquarters saying, by the way, we're doing this now. For decades, this was the central exhibit in the free will debate. But modern science has pushed this unsettling idea even further. In a famous 2008 study, neuroscientist John Dylan Haynes used fMRI scanners to watch the brain in real time. Participants were asked to do something simple. Press a button with their left or right hand. By monitoring activity in a region called the frontopolar cortex, Haynes's team could predict which hand a person would choose. But here's the truly mind-bending part. They could do it up to seven seconds before the person consciously knew what they were going to do.